final. How the heck could I do a cry hybrid drop? I had no idea. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so we make our table and we uh, ascertain which are the most numerous two groups. Those are parentals. Then our least numerous, those are our, uh, our what? Our what? Double recombinants. Right, okay. Okay. So, so we have put a red square around the parentals, haven't we? Yeah. Let's put a blue one around the double recombinants. Okay, a blue one around the double recombinants. Red parents, blue, double recombinants. So we're going to compare the parents to the double recombinants. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Sorry. And find the, the single gene that's different in the double recombinants to the parents. And the one that's different is going to be located in the middle of the three. So looking at here, we have C the same, WX the same, and SH plus and SH minus. So those ones are different. We can compare here as well to confirm what we think, which is SH. So same, same, different. So with that, we can go ahead and assume that the order of the genes is C. S-H-W-X. And what you did was you ascertained which is in the middle. Yes. So so it very well could be this, this the W-X and C were reversed. We just, the key critical thing, I think, is, is that S-H is in the middle. Cool, that's cool. That's going to tell us which one to add the double recombinants twice to whenever we're getting our recombination frequency between the two genes. Okay. So, we're going to get our recombination frequency between C and S-H and then SH and WX, and then C and WX. So each of those uh, two distances. Yeah, it's like a, the three different ones available. C to SH, SH to WX, C to WX. Oh. Okay. So if we want to get our recombination frequency between C and W, or C and SH, how do we do that? And then you go through the list and you find out which ones don't match the parentals. Yeah. So, I don't know, the way that I always do it just to keep track of everything is take the genotypes of these two genes of the parents and kind of write them off to the side just so you don't have to keep looking all over the place. So I would just go with C, W, X. Oh, yes. And C plus W X plus. So those are the parent genotypes. Just got them out of here for those two genes that we're looking at. Oh, oh shit, we're doing S H. Yeah. <laughs> so S H is S H plus and S H. Okay. So now we're gonna look at everything and find ones that don't match this because those will be recombinants. Sorry. So the first one is little c, little sh, so that doesn't match either of these, so it's a recombinant. Our next one is little c, sh plus, which matches this parent, so it's not gonna, it's not a recombinant, we're not gonna add it. Uh, the double recombinant is gonna be added, so we can look at that too, c, sh, doesn't match either of them, so that's five. Parent, we're not comparing it to you because that's what we're comparing. 98. Um, C plus SH, it matches, we're not going to add it. 61. Does not match, we're going to add it. Parent, skip. Double recombinant. Does not match, we're going to add it. It's 3. And uh, we have to total. Totals 1,000, I think. Totals 1,000. Yeah. So over the th or over the total, and what did the math work out to? It's so once you punch that into your calculator, you'll get um, 12.4 math units. So that's 0.124 times 100 percent, right? Okay. So so far we know this. Okay. <coughs> now let's do SH to WX. Okay, starting back at the top again. Considering SH and WX, well, let's write down our parents. So we have SH plus, WX, and 
S H W X plus. So we're looking at everything that's not those. So S H W X plus matches this one, so we're not going to add 55. Next one, S H plus W X plus doesn't match either of these, so we're going to add it 105. Uh, the double recombinant is going to be added because it's homozygous recessive, and these are. Um, skip the parent. That's 198. Um, does not match. We're going to add 98. 61 does match this first parent here. Skip the parent, go into the double recombinant. Doesn't match. We're going to add 3. Over a thousand equals um, so we would be we would be doing that on our calculator. Exactly. Yes, you punch this into your calculator, and, we and you would get point two one one, and you would multiply it by a thousand. I mean a hundred. Sorry, hundred, and give you twenty one point one. So now we know this. Okay, so now our last one is where we do something a little bit different with the double recombinants because that's what we did in the beginning was figure out which one's in the middle so that we know whenever we're comparing C and WX to add the double recombinants twice. Okay, so I'm going to erase this stuff on the bottom and make some space. So C to WS. Okay, so our parent versions of C and WX are, I mean, yes, yes, C and WX are C, WX, and C plus WX plus. Okay, so looking for everything that's not those. First one is not one of those, so we're gonna have 55. This one as well, it it doesn't match. Yeah, so we're gonna add it. It's 105. This one matches, but it's a double recombinant, so it's just a rule. We know we add it twice. Yeah, I'll just do plus five plus seven. Um, 98 is doesn't match, so we're going to add. 61 doesn't match as well. Skip the parent, and the double recombinant matches, but we know we have to add it twice by rule. Over a thousand. And that's going to, after we punch it in our calculator, say 33.5, yeah. 0.335 times 100. Okay. Which is 33.5 math units. And so we know the distance between the two furthest genes is 33.5 math units, which luckily is equals 12.4 plus 21.1. So we know we did it right. And then, let's see. Yeah, calculate interference. <clears throat> so let's do that too. Yeah. So calculating interference. Do you guys remember the equation for interference? And how about what is C? <laughs> yeah, so it's the observed double recombination frequency, so I'll put dr over expected double recombination frequency. Okay. So our observed double recombination frequency is easy. It's 5 plus 3 over 1,000. Your bottom is expected, not Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. Yeah, expected. So... 5 plus 3 over 1,000 is our numerator. So, 8. 
Una 